UK currency pound sterling. Fast notes. This is a five pound note or five quid in a slang. In fact, quid is one pound and it doesn't have a plural form. In a slang, we also call it a fiver. Next, a 10 pound note or 10 quid or a tenner in a slang. After that, we have got a 20 pound note or 20 quid, but we don't call this a 20 like a fiver and a tenner. After that, the highest one is a 50 pound note or 50 quid, or we also call it a 50. Now coins. First of all, don't forget that one pound is 100 pence. So one penny and the plural form is pence or P. We've got a one pound coin, a one pound coin, a two pound coin, 50 pence or P, 20 pence, OP, 10 pence, and 5 pence. Now the images on British banknotes and coins. There are four denominations or values of Bank of England banknotes in circulation. 5 pound note, 10 pound note, 20 pound note and 50 pound note. The note is printed on polymer, which is a thin and flexible plastic material. On the front side or obverse of all British banknotes, we can see the Queen's portrait, Queen Elizabeth II, but on the reverse or the back side of British banknotes, we can see different faces. And these are the most recent ones. The five pound note is the lowest value note and features the wartime prime minister, Winston Churchill. He was Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1940 to 1945 and 1951 to 1955. Churchill was also a writer and an artist. The images on the back of the note show a view of Westminster, home of the UK government, and the Elizabeth Tower containing Big Ben from London's South Bank, looking across Westminster Bridge. Also shown in the background image is the Nobel Prize medal, which Churchill was awarded in 1953, together with the awarding of the prize citation. Now, the quote from Churchill on the, on the note is, I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. This is from Churchill's first speech on 13 May 1940 to the House of Commons. Now the £10 note. On the reverse or back side of the note, you can see Jane Austen's portrait. Jane Austen was an English novelist born in 1775 and died in 1817. Her books have been translated into over 40 languages, of which there have been countless film and television adaptations. Her famous books are Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility. 
On the back side of the note, there is also an illustration of Elizabeth Bennet, a character from Pride and Prejudice. Beneath this image is Godmersham Park House, the estate owned by Jane Austen's brother. Now the coat. I declare after all there is no enjoyment like reading. This was said by Miss Bingley in Pride and Prejudice. Now the £20 note. On the reverse of the note, you can see J.M.W. Turner or Joseph Mallet William Turner's self-portrait, circa 1799, and is currently on display at Tate Britain. And besides his self-portrait, you can see one of his paintings, The Fighting Temerer, and it is one of his most famous paintings. It is an oil painting painted in 1838 and exhibited at the Royal Academy in 1839. And the coat. Light is therefore color is a coat from a lecture Turner gave in 1818 and a reference to his innovative use of light, shade, color, and tone. The design on the reverse of the 50 pound note celebrates Alan Turing's portrait. Alan Turing provided the theoretical underpinnings for the modern computer. While best known for his work devising code-breaking machines during World War II, Turing played a pivotal role in the development of early computers. He set the foundations for work on artificial intelligence by considering the question of whether machines could think. The design on the reverse of the note celebrates Alan Turing and his pioneering work with computers. It features a mathematical table and formula from Turing's seminal 1936 paper. This paper is widely recognized as being foundational for computer science. Now the coat. This is only a foretaste of what is to come and only the shadow of what is going to be. This is a coat from Alan Turning given in an interview to the Times newspaper on 11 June 1949. Now coins, current British coinage system. All circulating coins have an image of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse or front side of the coin and various national and regional designs and the denomination on the reverse. All current coins carry an abbreviated Latin inscription translates to Elizabeth II by the grace of God queen and defender of the faith. This is English with Parvone. If you found the video useful, don't forget to like it and please subscribe to my channel. Good luck.